can't tell if it's really good quality sound, but anyway. Okay. Well, I'm recording this thing now. Um, so, this is how you create a your own synth in Reaper. So you're just going to open up Reaper. You're going to, of course, add a new track, Command T. Um, and then you're going to go into Effects. Everything sounds like it's going through. Look up 5,000. Rea synth auto or omatic 5000 and then you're gonna import a sound that you want in hitting browse for example I'm gonna do the ping xylophone that I found it's gonna give you this nice thingy woohoo that was a nice sound then you're gonna change it so it says no semitone shifted or else it'll just like no matter what tone you make it it's going to stay the exact same pitch as um, yeah. the original recording you're going to do s no semitones shifted so that the MIDI knows that it needs to raise it a half step if you put up a half step. Um, you're going to close out of that unless you want to adjust some pitch bending. Like If it's not in the key that it says it is, then you can do that to change it. Or no, it's it's not pitch bend, it's pitch offset, I'm sorry. Um, and then gonna hit this to record but you want it to be the MIDI keyboard so you're gonna do all channels in here you're gonna hit this that makes it so you can actually hear it and then you're gonna hit record just to get some space in there if you want to you can look up MIDI keyboard and it'll bring up this boy you can like you know, hit the pitches instead. Or if you have a keyboard hooked up, you can do that input instead as well. Um, you're gonna hit save all whenever you record, but I'm gonna delete that little note because I don't need it. So now you have a little grid that you can play with. You can just, you know, mess around with that. You know. Yeah, so then you've got a little thingy and you can make whatever you want. You can also make like chords and stuff. So like if you wanted to do, you know, C chord, I think this is in the right key. It might be. Yeah, I'm um, going to do that and then, you know, two steps up. Yeah, my screen's turning off. What the heck? Okay. Oh, wait, wrong. Actually, you're going to do the third... <laughs> the is that even right? Yeah, the third. Because then that's gonna be the fifth. Yeah, I can't remember how chords work right now, which is really sad. So I'm just gonna like <laughs> half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So you're gonna get rid of that boy, get rid of that boy, get rid of that boy and this boy I believe I don't know I just feel like making a chord right now okay let's test out this boy oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah that's wonderful I'll just play that over and over again let's make it minor I think it's this one I think that's minor. See that? Yeah, I think that's it. Augmented. I don't even know if that's correct. Also, this is way too loud. Kind of want to like, you know, bring that down. Also, you can take that off so it stops recording. I'll bring that boy back up. And you know, you can always like copy paste too. So like copy paste. Yeah, that's about it. That's how you do that. You can do whatever you want with that. 
And you're all set. Woohoo! Congratulations, you know how to make your own synth. Oh, but if you don't want to make your own synth, you can just remove that and then look up synth. You know, Rhea synth gives you pretty nice. Um, and it's the same process to get this as well. Just gives you a more structured synthesizer that's already, you know, set up. Um, and you can change the different parameters of it um, such that, you know, like, if you want square mix, it's going to make that kind of sound. If you want sawtooth, if you don't want square mix, you just want sawtooth. It's not much different. Triangle mix, that doesn't really do anything either. That's very quiet. Wow, let's keep sawtooth. Oops, that was a mistake. Yeah, um, this just adds, I think, another pitch over top of it. So let's make this an octave over. That didn't do what I wanted, but... Oh, sine mix, it's like the ratio. So let's do like 50-50. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's working. What's this? Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's that one, and I know that there's a plugin called like Aria Player, and that one's nice, but I don't have it. Um, are there any other synth tools? I mean, there's that one I don't know how to use. This one I feel is nice, I can't remember. It's kind of limited, because it doesn't really have that those options, so it's kind of useless. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Woo, synthesizers. Congratulations.